Welcome. This is Swampy Sports Podcast. As you can tell, we are not in the 1130 Tiger Studios today because I am in Oklahoma City visiting a bunch of my uh, old college friends, catching up with them. But, you know, we got some big news in the NFL, especially today. A CBS Sports reports that Jerry Jones is not dead set on Tony Romo being a starting quarterback anymore. I guess after seeing that great performance that Dak Prescott had uh, against the Packers in Green Bay, I guess it finally changed his mind. That did, which uh, a crazy performance for just the Cowboys in general. As they go into Lambeau and take down Aaron Rodgers and the Packers, 30-16. to 16. Dak Prescott, three touchdowns, one interception. His first interception in 140-something attempts. And <sighs> Ezekiel Elliott still going off. Offensive line looking great. Right now the Cowboys are like my fifth best team in the NFL right now. And we took a poll on Twitter on 11th, on 11.30 of the Tiger. And the question was, are the Cowboys a Super Bowl contending team after their win in Green Bay? 90% of y'all said yes. And 10% of the idiots out there said no. <laughs> Just if you just, it's just this offensive line is finally clicking now. And with that being, with when you have an offensive line that clicks and a defense that can make stops, and how Morris Claiborne is actually playing decently well now, he can't tackle worth a crap, but his coverages are decent. They're great. That secondary is doing great. Sean Lee's still not injured. Their only question mark is their defensive line. And so with this, you know, Tony Romo, when he's healthy, he's great. He's he's a great quarterback, but he never can stay healthy. And they've never had a quarterback that can hold down the fort. And now they have him in rookie hot and zone Dak Prescott. And with how he's been playing is it's absurd how well he has been playing. Prescott, he went 18 for 27, 247 yards and three touchdowns against that Packer defense. It's crazy how poised he is. Then another a rookie who's Incredible this year. Ezekiel Elliott, 28 carries, 157 yards that game. Elliott's a leading rusher in the NFL. Dak Prescott, his numbers are superb for a rookie and for most quarterbacks in general. 125 completions out of 182 attempts. 68% completion rating with 1,400 yards, 7 touchdowns, 1 interception and an 84.7 quarterback rating. You see, I know Tony Romo is an amazing – he's he's up there one of the best quarterbacks in the league when he's healthy, when he was back a couple of years ago. And I know, you know, he's done so much for this franchise, you know, so much, not winning yeah, Super Bowls. But still with everything that like that being said with – uh, but, you know, I think but Dak Prescott much. gives you the best chance to win. Is how Edward Jones and with, best. And isn't that what you're supposed to do with an NFL franchise is win? Do what's right for you to win? Because, you see, that's when – that's what the Patriots do. They do they do whatever it takes to win. They, they don't have Tom Brady, but they do whatever it takes to win. Three out of four games they don't have him. Then when he was in, it's crazy how much they win. So – with Dak Prescott leading that offense, being an, an, an incredible game manager and not turning the ball over, how do you how do you go to that to Tony Romo, who, you know, yes, I guess you could say he's earned his starting position, but with Dak's performance, don't you think he deserves a chance to earn that starting position? You know... When I hear people talking about this, and I, I hear both sides. I hear people, you know, the very biased Dak Prescott fans from around the Shreveport area here saying that Prescott needs to play. Yes, yeah, he's he's doing great. Then you also got to hear from the people who support Romo. Because Romo is a veteran. Romo has been there before. Prescott looks like he's been there before, but he really hasn't. Just, you know, he went up against the Green Bay defense and, it, and did great. He did phenomenal. But then you, then you have to think to the point of Tony Romo, who knows so much more than Dak Prescott does. 
And Dak Prescott's so much more younger. That's why he's not getting hurt when he gets sacked. But Tony Romo tries so much to keep the play going and going. But when that happens, he ends up getting hurt. But you cannot be mad at the decision of Tony Romo coming back. Because if he does get hurt, you still have Dak Prescott to fall on. Then I did hear this interesting uh, thing from Donovan McNabb talking on NFL Network, talking about how the Cowboys should trade Tony Romo and Des Bryant. Because if you think about it, Des Bryant hasn't been playing hardly, and they're still winning. Their leading receiver in Terrence William. So I, th- I personally think without Des Bryant, just like with Adrian Peterson in the Vikings, I think the offense is better without him. Because just like with Adrian Peterson and the Vikings, I think just because he's Adrian Peterson, he desert, like he requires a certain amount of plays that the ball hand off to him. And I feel that's the same way with Bryant. He will start throwing a little, a little fit if he doesn't get the ball thrown to him like five or six times a game if he's open and stuff like that. And Dak Prescott spreads the ball around. That's why he doesn't turn the ball over. He looks at all of his options. He doesn't try to force anything if it doesn't need to be forced. And that's why he only has one interception through the first eight games, seven games, six games, whatever it is. So I think that this is a great opportunity for the Cowboys to be like a Bill Belichick, for Jason Garrett to be like Bill Belichick. Because isn't that what the standard is in the NFL right now? Bill Belichick, isn't that what you want to thrive to be like? Have your team like the Patriots constantly winning, always in the playoffs? And you could do that. You could make this ballsy move to start this rookie and give him a chance with the veteran on the bench. You know, this is this is the, the National Football League. This isn't, you know, B par where everyone, you know, deserves a chance. Yes, because Dak Prescott got his chance, but he didn't just get put into the game because he had to be put in. He found he took advantage of his opportunity and look what he's doing. So with Tony Romo coming back, I think that. I personally think that Prescott should be a starter, because, just solely on the base because they're winning. And, and he's spreading the ball out enough to where they open up the run game for Ezekiel Elliott to just kill it like he's doing right now. So I think the Cowboys need to hurry up and make a decision before Romo even comes back. They just need to go ahead and say, get this all over with. Because Prescott seems poised, but you know he pays attention to the media. And the media sure does pay attention to him. And they are praising him so much for turning down free Kanye West tickets to catch more sleep and to turn down a bunch, a bunch of endorsement deals for this week's uh, bye week because he wants to go home and spend time with his grandmother. And that's, that's that's the type of person you want leading your football team. You want someone who is dedicated to football caring about other people. You don't want someone like a, you know, someone who goes and does endorsements whenever they could be, you know, endorsements aren't bad. You know, making money, good. Go ahead and make more. I don't care. But what I was really impressed was the free Kanye West tickets. So, because he had practice the next morning, he wanted to get extra sleep. That's the type of player you want leading your football team. And I just see so much in Dak Prescott already that I think he's going to be an incredible football player in the next 10 years. And the Cowboys cannot let that go. I think it's Dak Prescott, because Dak Prescott has said that this is Tony's team. So he he already has in his head that when Romo comes back, that he's going to be on the bench. And again, I don't see a problem with that either. But if I'm a Cowboy fan, just know the security blanket you have behind Romo is there, and that y'all, no matter who's that quarterback for y'all, I think if Romo is that quarterback, y'all are still a Super Bowl contending team, just the way this team is playing this year. So that's that's my rant about this whole Cowboys situation. So I'm, I'm so happy for Dak how well he's doing because I love seeing people from this area succeed in anything that they do. It's great. So, you know, I'm a, I'm a Texan fan. But I'm, I'm slowly becoming a Cowboy fan just because of Dak and just because I want to see him do well. So thank you all for joining, and uh, God bless.